Yo, what is going on guys? It's Recent Gamers and today I'm going to make a video on updating you about Black Ops 2 coming backwards compatible. Now like in the BO2 and like the overall COD community right now, BO2 has been one of the most requested games for the past 7 months to become backwards compatible. Now we got, like us as a community have been waiting for like, I say over a year we've been waiting for this game to come. As soon as BO3 came out about a month or so after everyone realised how shit it was, they were like, oh, okay let's get Black Ops 2. Let's bring up Black Ops 2 compatible as like a as a subject. So then everyone was everyone started uh, making threads and things like this saying they wanted it. And then finally they you know Xbox heard that they wanted it backwards compatible. Uh, so they posted a thread saying um, which is the most game which is the best game sorry they want to become backwards compatible. Now sorry about the lag right now. It was just like the kid had like some of the worst hosts I think I've ever seen in my life. But um, there was like, I think there was six games, I think it was Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Black Ops 2, uh, and I think, I don't know, I can't remember the last game, and it, this was back when World at War wasn't backwards compatible, so I think that was in there as well, and BO2 I think had over, like, um, don't get me wrong, I think it was over 200k people wanted it, and Modern Warfare 3 was, Modern Warfare 3 was the last one, the like the bottom one that had the we least votes, then it was Modern Warfare 2, then it was World at War, then it was BO2, and there was an error spotted as well. Um, well, you could call it an error, error, but this one guy who made um, the connect for the 360 and the developer for Xbox, um, if you go on his game clips, I'll post his game. Like, I'll, his game is gonna be in the description. Um, if you go and like add him on Xbox, you can add as many people. I'm pretty sure. Um, and if you go on his game clips, you can see BO2, and he's like had game clips recorded for BO2, which means like he has like he's been able to play BO2 on his Xbox One, which like how you couldn't even put that into any better words. But um, the director for BO2, like the person who brings all the games backwards compatible, he tweeted out saying that BO2 has no information at this moment of time for coming backwards compatible, and then. Because this one guy was kind of pissing him, the director off, yeah. Um, he, he kept on asking him, and he got so pissed off the director he was just straight up said, he straight up was like, um, uh, I think it was like, can you be quiet? This game's not coming backwards compatible at this moment of time. So he pretty much said, shut the fuck up and let me do my job. So it could take up to. I my as I think it's, I think they're not gonna because let's be honest here if they remaster it they can add supply drops in they can do add load of shit in to make all that money like I was watching this guy's video and he was like the amount of profit they could make from making it um from making it remastered is a lot but they've also got to put time and resources into making it make it so like they couldn't even make that much money. And then it's the risk of whether people will actually buy the game. Because if they see supply drops on it, if they see supply drops on it, they may just dip out. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It has been Rooster Gamers here, and this is just kind of an update. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.